Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening. Have a couple of inbox, unboxings I wanted to do today, kind of real quickly. We won't take a lot of time. This first one's a small one from Meat and Boss, Met and Boss. And it is. Oh, he sliced it. It is a backspacer for my Spyderco smock that has Raylite scales on it. So I don't know if you guys have looked at your smock, the standoffs on the back, but this little Met Boss tie backspacer, it seems to match the color pretty well. Just slips in there over those, I believe. I'll let you guys know or maybe do a installation on video but that's package number one I just got back in town so I have several that showed up and these are all from White Mountain Knives I believe and yes I used lefty's code From the peanuts. There's a Tucson. Why is that box fucking with me, guys? Anywho. That is a PMP. That's a helicopter in the background. And a Tucson. So, this is kind of an interesting story. This is an um, impulse buy that happened at about 3 o'clock in the morning during Nas Live on Brother Brent's Backpack B channel. We'll get into that last. Let's see, Tucson number one. We'll do Tucson number two. All right, guys, remember my fixed blade fetish, my quest for the tiny fixed blade? This little fixed blade is smaller than the last Tucson fixed blade that I picked up. And this one has the same good retention, S90V. Wow, well, it's got very good retention. Check that bad boy out. Just like my other little Tucson, this guy is slicey. It's got a little bit of thick blade stock. A little tiny life that I'm going to probably send off with the other Tucson to Brother Joe, Master Joda, and have him come up with a couple of little sheaths. Although the last sheath, the Kydex and the other one, they have great retention and they hold an ulti clip fine. But this is the Tucson something or another. I'll put it in the description of the unboxing and in the title. But this is a little fixed blade 
and if you go to White Mountain Knives, these are right around $48. They don't have the black one in stock, but they have an orange handle and a couple of other handles. So check out Tucson Fixed Blades if you're looking for a tiny little chickadee size knife. So we got that. It's pretty cool. This one's heavier. I thought this was going to be the fixed blade. But this is going to be the 319 carbon fiber. I don't know if that's the TS319. But this is not a new knife by any stretch. But this is the knife designed by Colin Mason Pierre. You guys might know him from Devo Knives. It has gotten fantastic reviews. And Brother Panic got one of these in my carta. And I handled it. The detent is fantastic. The action's fantastic. I love the way it feels in hand. It's a little thicker knife um, than some of the other two sons, but it's still a very small knife. And yeah, I like the sheep's foot blade. I like the titanium handles. It's got some nice milling around that pivot. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of a spiral pattern. Carbon fiber inlays absolutely no transition that you can feel in an inset liner lock just a little winner but that is i think the tucson 319 and let's see uh, that one doesn't have a sticker on it so i can't help you with the other one but the one that i'm most interested in is this knife right here the pmp user 2 Again, I saw this, Brent had it on his channel, and it looked like a really thin, well-built front flipper. It's got a little, I've never seen one of those. Look, it's got a condom over the wire clip to keep it from jacking up the, the titanium. Look how thin that blade stock is. So that is the user two guys. It is an M390 titanium. It is what I would consider a gentleman's folder. It is very, very thin. And very very slicey that was user air but that is the PMP user 2 so guys those are our unboxings for the day and I will have reviews on these knives and give you more information as I get more information about them but I want to thank all of y'all for stopping by the channel I want to thank all of y'all for watching any of my videos that you watch and then I want to ask you to please look out for the guy or gal to your left please look out for the guy or gal to your right look out for each other I love you all peace